Shalom and welcome everybody to Say, Tell, Talk and Speak Verbs in Hebrew. In the first part we covered the verb Ledaber. Today, in this part, we're going to cover the verb Lomar. And in the last and final part, we're going to cover the verb Lagid. If you remember, the verb Ledaber is used mainly in three cases. When we're talking or speaking with someone, and the preposition that we will use is the preposition Im, when we're speaking or talking about something or someone, and the preposition that we're going to use is al, le daber al, or when we are speaking a language, le daber safa. Also, le daber will be used when we are engaging in a conversation, so it is an extended action that we are doing with another person. So, le daber also is a verb of a conversation engagement. In today's lesson, in this part, we're going to cover the verb lomar. So first of all, what are the verbs lomar and laagid and how do we use them? So the verbs lomar and laagid are used mainly in three cases. When we are saying something and if that something is definite, then we will use the preposition et. When we are telling someone, the preposition that we will use is the preposition le. Lomar le agit le. And simply when we want to use the verbs to say or to tell, the equivalent in Hebrew will be the verbs lomar and le agit, because it is something that we said or told. This is a short action. So how in modern Hebrew will we use the verb lomar? So lomar is used in past and present tense, rarely used in future tense and imperative, and also rarely used in its infinitive form. So the infinitive form actually is used, but it's used in an emotional context. For example, if a person will approach me and tell me Ani lomar lecha mashu, I will start thinking to myself wow what that person has to tell me it's something maybe I did maybe I said maybe he didn't like my behavior so most likely that it will lead to conflict but this is my intuition this is what I think about lomar lomar in some cases will be used in less emotional situations but we prefer to use the verb leagid in its infinitive form rather than using the verb lomar. Nevertheless, since it's used in past tense and present tense, this is what we're going to be focusing on in that part. We're going to learn the conjugation of the verb lomar in past and present tense and exercise with it. Everything else, future tense, imperative, infinitive, we will leave it to the third part where we're going to learn the verb leagid. So first of all, let's see how the verb lomar is conjugated in present tense. As we remember, we have in present tense only four conjugations. One for masculine singular, one for feminine singular, one for masculine plural, and one for feminine plural. For masculine singular, ani, omer, ata, omer, hu, omer. Feminine singular, ani, omeret, at, omeret, he omeret. Masculine plural. Anachnu omrim. Atem omrim. Hem omrim. Feminine plural. Anachnu omrot. Aten omrot. Hen omrot. Omer. Omeret. Omrim. Omrot. Past tense. Ani amarti. Ata amarta. At amart. Hu amar. He Amra, anachnu amarnu, atem amartem, aten amarten, hem amru, hen amru. Now it's your turn again, you see a sentence in English, pause the video, say it out loud in Hebrew, try to translate it, and then play the video again and see if you got it right. What does he say? Ma hu omer. He says that he doesn't want to talk. Hu omer shu lo rotze le daber.
What does she say? מה היא אומרת? She says that she doesn't want to talk. היא אומרת שהיא לא רוצה לדבר. What do they say? מה הם אומרים? They say that they don't want to talk. הם אומרים שהם לא רוצים לדבר. What do they say? מה הן אומרות? They say that they don't want to talk. הן אומרות שהן לא רוצות לדבר. What did you say? מה אמרת? I said that I want to talk. אמרתי שאני רוצה לדבר. What did you say? מה אמרת? I said that I want to talk. אמרתי שאני רוצה לדבר. What did you say? מה אמרת? I said that I want to learn Hebrew. אמרתי שאני רוצה ללמוד עברית. When did you say that? מתי אמרת את זה? I said that yesterday. אמרתי את זה אתמול. What did you say? מה אמרת? I said that I want to learn Hebrew. אמרתי שאני רוצה ללמוד עברית. What did Yossi tell you? מה יוסי אמר לך? יוסי said he wants to talk with you. יוסי אמר שהוא רוצה לדבר איתך. When did Yossi tell you that? מתי יוסי אמר לך את זה? He told me that yesterday. הוא אמר לי את זה אתמול. What did Michal tell you? מה מיכל אמרה לך? מיכל told me she wants to talk with you. מיכל אמרה לי שהיא רוצה לדבר איתך. When did Michal tell you that? מתי מיכל אמרה לך את זה? She told me that yesterday. היא אמרה לי את זה אתמול. What did you tell us to do? מה אמרתם לנו לעשות? We told you to go talk with Yossi and Michal. אמרנו לכם ללכת לדבר עם יוסי ומיכל. What did יוסי and Michal say? מה יוסי ומיכל אמרו? What 
They said that they will talk with us tomorrow. What did they say? Mahem Amru? They said that they will talk with us about it tomorrow. Hem Amru Shemi Dabru Itanu Al Zemachar. What did they tell you? Mahem Amru Lecha. They told me that they want to go home. הם אמרו לי שהם רוצים ללכת הביתה. This expression is used as You don't say. What are you saying? מה אתה אומר? What did she tell you? מה היא אמרה לך? She said that she goes on vacation tomorrow. היא אמרה שהיא יוצאת לחופשה מחר. What did you guys say? מה אמרתם? What did she tell you? Ma hi amralach. She said that you can talk with her. Hi amra shatem yecholim ledaberita. In which language did she tell you that? באיזו שפה היא אמרה לך את זה? She told me that in Russian. We spoke Russian. היא אמרה לי את זה ברוסית. דיברנו רוסית. He said that he will talk with me tomorrow. הוא אמר שהוא ידבר איתי מחר. אוקיי, okay, guys, so that's it for today. So we finished with part 2. Part 1 was about the verb לדבר. Part 2 was about the verb לומר. And third part, the final part, will be about the verb להגיד. So I hope that you found this video educating. And now you know the difference between the verbs לדבר and לומר. So I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to leave a like, click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. And that's it for today. See you in the next part. Lehitraot!